Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the postseason as we get ready to face off against the Atlanta Hawks in the first round, bro. Although we're the sixth seed, I am pretty sure that we could beat that team and make it to the next round. I'm hyped up right now. I'm ready to go. I got my silky on. I got the hoodie on. So you know I'm serious, bro. Whenever I got the silky on and the hoodie, you know that stuff is really serious right now. And wait, why do I have like this in a bow? I'm like choking myself right now. Oh man, I'm gonna have to edit this part out of the video. But ladies and gentlemen, we are hyped up, we are ready to go, and in my opinion, we have a good shot of making it to the Eastern Conference Finals, can't nobody tell me nothing. And as I did mention in the last episode, I am gonna be playing every other game here in the postseason, unless we get to the NBA Finals, not the NBA Finals, the Eastern Conference Finals, and we're facing off against the Celtics, I might... I might have to play every game, in all honesty, in order for us to even have a chance against that team. But anyways, I'm bla I yo, I'm talking way too much. I'm talking way too much. What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is a Prince YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, aka Prince Anthony. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to rumble. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. Nah, I'm, I've been watching too much WWE. <laughs> Welcome to the NBA postseason. So y'all see it here for yourselves. First round matched up against the Atlanta Hawks they're the third seed we are the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference how we got the sixth seed because every team in the Eastern Conference decides to play extremely well this season but anyways this is who the Hawks have Trey Young Tim Hardaway Jr. DeAndre Hunter who is now an 80 overall okay I see you bro John Collins Clint Capella oh Chris Boucher so they got some very tall players okay Cam Reddish and the rest of the team doesn't really look all that Marcus Morris Sr. Who else they got? They got Lou Will? Lou Will is a 74 overall. Is he injured or something? No, he's not injured, but he's a 74 overall. But he's very injury prone, so maybe that should be able to help us. And also take these season stats with a grain of salt because I did play a good portion of the games this season. So it's not 100% accurate in my opinion because I can't normalize play to simulation stats. Else, I feel like Bradley Beal should have averaged at least 22 points per game if I didn't play a lot of the games that I played. But anyways, looking at the season stats, 19.8 points per game for Bradley Beal, leader score for our squad. Right behind him is Brandon Ingram with 18. Pav averaged 15 points. How much assists he had? Only four assists. Bro, you gotta, you gotta do way better than four assists, especially because you're our leading point guard, or our starting point guard, I should say. Brandon Clark averaged 11. Kelly Oubre Jr. with 11 as well. Kyle Kuzma with 10. And the rest of the team did their thing. Dwayne Hendricks, 9.9 .9 points per game. They should have just gave him 10 points per game. And 8.7 rebounds per game. So basically, nine and eight for Dwayne Hendricks and the rest of the team did their thing but I feel like we're really ready to compete bro we definitely are and I'm glad that based on the seeding I feel like we have a good shot of making it to the Eastern Conference Finals there's no way that we can't beat the Philadelphia 76ers when we make it to the next round and there's no way that well, I don't know how things are going to go when we face off against the Celtics in the East Finals, but I'm predicting it right now. In the East Finals, Boston Celtics, Washington Wizards, y'all could bank on that. Anyways, welcome to Hotlanta as we get ready to face off against the Atlanta Hawks. Round one, game one of the NBA postseason. We don't have home court advantage for this first round matchup, but I still believe in my squad. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go Washington Wizards. Let's go, we got this baby, we definitely got this. Home court advantage is an A, and we didn't win the tip. Look at this injured Trey Young. Who does he think he is? Well, it is postseason time. My son Trey Young playing through injury. Oh, he's pulling up to start the game. Could not get it to go. Time to push that tempo. Bradley Beal wide open. Look at this. Where's the defense? They're not playing. Come on, get in there. Oh, my goodness. Hogs got a one-point lead. I'm surprised they are battling to start. Oh, Young is... No, come on. Don't do that. Don't do that again, bro. Let's see what we got in this possession. I see you, Bradley Beal. When in doubt, pass the ball to Bradley Beal. But who does Trey Young think he is, bro? Stepping back on me like, okay. When in doubt, take it to the basket. Good bucket for Tim Hardaway Jr. Let's see what we got in this possession. Trey Young is cold. Has not been doing nothing all game. I wanted to pull up with Ingram, but. Oh, I get it inside to Ingram. How did I get Wennington. Come on, do not let a guy named Wennington get right past me. Excellent closeout defense. 
A one point lead here in the first quarter. Let's see if we could build on that. Bradley Beal, you know what I'm doing. Going all the way to the basket. And one. And I knocked down the free throw. Let me see you do something, Cam. They get it to Cam. He's trying to run. Okay, that's some bad spacing. Reddish to the basket. Get that weak stuff out of here. Beal to the basket again, and this lead is starting to build. Can I draw the foul? Okay. I was expecting to draw the foul on that possession. I knew I wasn't going to score. Oh, can we close out? Oh, that's Carter Williams Jr. Well, Michael Carter Williams. Not Michael Carter Jr. Wait, what am I talking about? Oh, wait, I didn't mean to pull up like that. But I still, I feel like we should be up by at least 10 or 10 to 15 points the way we've been playing. But right now, my second unit isn't really playing the best. My starter's been balling out, though. Oh, yeah, we got the mismatch. Kyle Kuzma has a baby. That's too easy. That should have been an and one. Hawks are racking up on some stops. Oh, I saw that lob coming. Okay. And just like that, the Hawks pull back to tie the game. But I'm very calm right now. Most of this game, I've been calm. Because I know that once my starters come back in the game, it's over for the Hawks. They have no answer against my starters. But let's see what I got on this possession. Moving the basketball. Kuzma gets a perfect release. Oh, yeah, that's easy. Come on. How did I miss that? And how did I not get the rebound? Game is tied at 32. Hardaway Jr. driving to the basket. And just like that, the Hawks have a chance to take the lead. There we go. They take their first lead of the game. I think it is, at least. Did they lead for the game? Oh, no, they did lead for the game. I don't know what I'm talking about. But this is their first lead since we first started the game. Let's see what we got in this possession. Because right now, the Hawks got their offense flowing. Beal to the basket. Got it. I was expecting. What is Bum Williams doing? That's what I'm going to start calling. Oh. I kind of saw that lob coming. But Michael Carter Williams, I'm going to start calling him Bum Williams. <laughs> Getting inside. Brandon Ingram scores. And we are down by four. We're down right now, but for some reason, I just don't feel scared at all. Look at that. Get that weak stuff out of here. Look at that beautiful. And we turned the ball over. That should have been a nice fast break, bro. Like, what did you Oh, there we go. We get the ball right back. <laughs> Excellent steal. Who is this wide open in the corner? Beal. For three. <laughs> oh, man. We tied the game at 42. Let me see what you got, Trey Young. And he steps out of bounds. What are you doing? They need to bench him before he gets seriously hurt out there. I'm sorry. But let's see what we got. Bradley Beal balling out this game. I'm taking it all the way to the basket. Reddish. Well, he had a baby on him. Of course he was going to get to the basket like that. Come on. You already know Pav can't guard anyone. Literally, he can't. But here comes Brandon Ingram. Oh, I see you, Clark. Clark inside. Kicking it back out. Ingram. Got it. Shot clock starting to wind down, and they're going to Trey Young again. He's cold and injured. What are y'all doing? Oh, nice move, though. I can't lie. He should have got the N1 on that. I give him that. I definitely give him credit for that move. But anyways, where's the defense? Ingram, perfect release. Another three. Uh-oh. Carter Williams, or should I say Bum Williams? <laughs> You guys see why I'm calling him Bum Williams now. That dude is a scrub. Hendricks with the easy jam. The Hawks got to do something because this game is slipping away from them. Wennington inside with the easy layup. Brandon Ingram got a takeover going, bro. How often do you guys see that? We got Bradley Beal balling out. We got Brandon Ingram getting a takeover. He's balling out. Let's see. I'm going right back to Ingram. Why not? About to break into that pick and roll. Ingram is feeling it. Let me see if I could get to the basket. He's been getting to the basket. Easy all game. Could not get the and one. But he has been getting to the rack. Getting to the free throw line. And knocking out all his free throws. Look at that. Can he knock down the second? There we go. Perfect release. Kuzma inside. Cannot get it to go. Doesn't matter though. All we got to do is hold on to the lead. That's all we got to do. As they start throwing lobs to Colin. They need to stop doing that. Because that's starting to get me upset now. But let's see what we got in this possession. Josh Hart is open. Perfect release. Oh, I gotta give props to John Collins. Because he literally is putting the team on his back right now. And he just messed up his own compliment. Why would you try to throw a lob to an injured Trey Young? What are you doing, bro? 
Y'all deserve to lose the series after a boneheaded play like that. Driving to the basket. I see you, Kali Stein. That's how you throw a lob. <laughs> Trey Young. You should have just passed the ball, bro. Stop, stop shooting. Stop trying to score. He is ice cold. Oh, I'm stepping back. Bradley Beal missed it. But Hendricks with the put back dunk. I caught Trey Young on that. I don't care what nobody. They need to go to Collins on like every possession. Young, what are you doing? Out of bounds, Washington takes possession. I feel like the Hawks are not even trying to win this game anymore. That's how easy this game has become. Like, bro, what are y'all really doing? Anyway, it's time to put the nail in the coffin. Get a dagger against this Hawks team. Let's see. Running that pick and roll. I want to pull up for three, but I'm a driving step. I got a perfect release on that. Yeah, this game is done. <laughs> Come on, Timmy. Do something. You're being guarded by Pav. There we go. When Pav is guarding you, you have to score. My son Pav really can't play no defense. Tim Hardaway Jr. is scoring on you. Anyways, let's see what we got in this possession. We got a very good lead against the Atlanta Hawks. I'm trying to step back. Oh, I got a perfect release on that three. End of video right here. Talk about domination. I feel so bad for this Hawks team. There is no way. No way that they could beat us at all. They should not be able to beat us this series. I feel like we're going to get the sweep. We have to. I feel like the Hawks should have went to John Collins because looking at the box score and looking at how Trey Young did 2 of 14 from the field, 0 of 7 from three-point land. Dude was ice cold all game. That hot step move was pretty good, though. But he only had four points. Man, Trey Young, you really look bad this game. You should have sat out. In addition to this being a perfect team win, perfect team effort, all you got to see is Brandon Ingram and Bradley Beal. Our dynamic duo came to ball. Although most of Brandon Ingram's points came via the free throw line because he was 12 or 13 from the free throw line. Dude had 24 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Bradley Beal had 4 assists, 25 points. Our dynamic duo, when they ball out like that, it's an automatic victory, bro. It definitely is. I told you guys, when I got the silky on and I got the hoodie on, I am unstoppable. I am a different kind of beast. I'm talking LeBron with D-Way type of beast, bro. I'm talking MJ in the clutch type of beast. Kobe in the clutch type. Bro, I am beastly, to say the very least. But that was a good W. Good way to start the postseason. And let's see if we could keep it up. I told you guys, we are definitely going through to the next round. I don't care what nobody tells me. But leave a comment in the comment section below if you made it to the end of this video. Also, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And, of course, click one of the playlists and check out some of the content. What are you doing? Anyways, see you guys in the next video. See you guys in the next episode. It's the Prince of YouTube signing out.